understand is that as a result of the plea today that Thomas Sisko will die in Angola. Part of the reason that this was done was to allow this, these families and this parish, you know, some sense of closure. So the Attorney General in 2010 is the one that actually pled him to the manslaughter. The DA's office originally convicted him of first degree murder and he was sentenced to death penalty. Uh, when the Attorney General's office got it, when it came back on appeal, they pled it to manslaughter, three, three counts of manslaughter, looking at over 100 years. Um, and that's when he made the assurance to, to Calcasieu Parish that this man would serve the rest of his life in jail. Um, and that almost didn't happen. The parole board granted Cisco's parole February 8th. On February 9th, Cisco pled guilty to an unreported contraband infraction that allegedly happened February 7th. The infraction occurred before the parole hearing, rendering Cisco ineligible for parole. And he was asked during the parole hearing if he's had any infractions, and he told the parole board no, and that wasn't the truth. Um, he was aware that there was an infraction the day before. The day before the parole hearing, he was not very truthful with the parole board. Um, they actually had a disciplinary board hearing the following day and he, where he pled guilty to that disciplinary infraction. Marty LaBeouf was one of the three victims. His brother Lane LaBeouf says his other three siblings were not notified of Cisco's parole hearing. We were a family of five. Marty was the youngest. He was the baby of the bunch. I have two, uh, I have an older sister, a younger sister, and a younger brother. I was the only one contacted and, and I, I adamantly asked them to call my other siblings. She told me she would. You know, she told me she would and my siblings never got a phone call. In 2004, the Attorney General's office took over Cisco's case because of a conflict of interest. DA Stephen Dwight says the conflict no longer exists and wants the case brought back to Calcasieu. We believe that the conflict doesn't, doesn't exist anymore, so we, the, the crime originated here in Calcasieu Parish. We believe we are the prosecuting agency now. We want the file back. We don't have it right now because we had recused to the Attorney General's office, but we are requesting that that prosecution come back to our office. Dwight says his office is always present for every parole hearing. We are there to oppose a parole hearing or we give our input to the parole board to let them know if we approve it or not approve it. Um, and we are there in person when we do that. We will do that. If we get the file back, we will do that in the future. But the process worked here because they, they did realize what happened um, and corrected the wrong. In Lake Charles, Barry Lowen, 7 News.